everyone and welcome along to today's video we're going to be talking about more efficient radiators and thermostatic rad valves simply because I've been asked a couple of questions that tie together one was a chap was wanting to size out a bathroom and he's found that those calculators online seem to be oversizing it a bit and he thinks maybe that's not quite right is there anything else well the old-fashioned methods we used to have a, a, a round dial calculator type thing that went round on a spinner and you just worked out the size of the room the cubic air and so on and, and it give you a, a, a setting for the right size BTU radiator to heat that room these days there's so many online calculators now and I wouldn't say any of them are bad or any worse than any others they're all pretty accurate really um, so I just use the best one that's recommended the most to work out your radiator sizes so do bear in mind if you're doing a radiator for a bathroom uh, if you're thinking of a towel rail that you will need a, a bigger towel rail because you've only got the rods of the rail going across you're not got a complete panelled rad some towel rails have got a little radiator in the bottom of them and you have the rails going across the top they are much better and will give you a bigger heat output for your bathroom now personally I like a radiator in a bathroom but to that end I have to say I've got a radiator and a towel rail I've got one in a cupboard and one on the wall that uh, one is used as an airing cupboard and one to put towels on in the bathroom and also a double radiator in there I like the bathroom to be probably a bit over warm in comparison with other rooms getting out of a hot shower uh, you feel cold if the room is cold don't you instantly so I like it the bathroom to be nice warm. so to that end I actually oversize a little so we get on now to radiator sizes now once your calculator is worked out what size rad it recommends is it worth oversizing well in my book uh, I'd say yes but a lot of people would say no you're wasting heat it's going to cost you more to heat the bigger radiator up etc but it, to me it's a bit like having a, a, a tiny engine a big car uh, it'll only go so fast and if you haven't got any more power uh, so that I mean by undersizing uh, you actually will not get any more heat out of that radiator if you oversize it you will you'll get loads it'll be like having a massive engine and a little mini you know loads of power and it's always there you might not ever use it but it's there and also with a thermostatic radiator valve on there which is a common rad valve these days now uh, you will find that you could govern it down anyway couldn't you so it wasn't so hot in the room but you've got a spare capacity to give you a little bit more if needed now not talking about going mad and oversizing by a massive amount just just a little to give you that a little bit more another question I was asked was a chap said that he's got some very old thermostatic radiator valves on 40 year old radiators and he said they're all a bit rusty on the bottom uh, but they're not leaking uh, the thermostatic rad valves are shall I just change the thermostatic radiator valves or should I change the radiators the lot well that is one of those things isn't it you can save money by just replacing the thermostatic radiator valves that are leaking and that will put you back to where you are but in fact the radiators are a bit rusty it means they could start leaking sometime but the main fact is that those 40 year old radiators will be very inefficient i.e. they won't give it a heat output of a modern radiator so that's what else you've got to look at if your radiators are knocking on a bit I'm talking about more than 20 years old then it is a good idea to replace them with a modern radiator will give you a lot lot more heat output and we're talking about that BTU rating again aren't we that we tie in so yes I would say renew the radiators and the valves I know it's going to cost you right now but you will get it back in energy savings over the time so that's just a little one on actual rad sizing and radiators that are more efficient we need to save as much money as we can now with this energy crisis on so maybe pay a bit now and get it back in long term ok 
that's about it though. All my stuff, you know where to go, usual place. Darren Brady Free. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. What?